Most seniors today are trying to do the right thing. They take their vitamins. They follow their doctor's advice. They believe that adding a few supplements here and there will protect their heart, their energy, and their life. But what if I told you that some of these combinations, ones that seem perfectly safe, could be quietly harming the very organ they're meant to protect? It's a hidden danger that doesn't get talked about enough. Many older adults are unknowingly mixing vitamins, minerals, and herbal supplements in ways that can interfere with heart function, raise blood pressure, disrupt medications, and increase the risk of heart rhythm problems or blood clots. And here's the truly alarming part. Most seniors are taking at least two of these combinations without realizing the danger. That's why this video is so important. Today we're revealing the six worst supplement combinations for your heart, especially if you're over 60. Some of these might already be in your cabinet right now, and the final combination we'll share can trigger a stroke or heart attack if you're not careful. Yet it's shockingly common. So please, watch this video all the way through because one small mistake could lead to a very big consequence. Before we start, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel to help the video reach more people who will benefit from it. Without further ado, let's get started. 1. Iron Plus Vitamin C You would think that combining iron with vitamin C is a good thing. After all, vitamin C is known to boost iron absorption, which can be helpful for younger individuals or anyone with iron deficiency. But for seniors, this combination can quietly become very dangerous, especially for the heart. The problem with excess iron is that the body doesn't have a way to eliminate it. You can only get rid of it either through blood donation or menstruation in case of women. Unlike many other nutrients that can be safely flushed out, iron tends to accumulate over time, storing itself in vital organs like the heart, liver, and pancreas. When high doses of vitamin C are added into the mix, absorption is further amplified, accelerating iron buildup without the person even realizing it. This excess iron increases oxidative stress, producing harmful free radicals that attack cells throughout the body, including the delicate tissues of the heart. Over time, this can contribute to stiff arteries, elevated blood pressure, and even damage to the heart muscle increasing the risk of serious conditions such as heart attacks or heart failure. For most seniors, iron supplementation is unnecessary, because after menopause, women no longer lose iron through menstruation, and men typically receive sufficient iron from their diet. A far safer approach is to obtain iron naturally from foods like red meat, liver, spinach, and legumes, which the body absorbs according to its needs. Unless a doctor specifically diagnoses iron deficiency anemia, avoiding iron supplements, especially when paired with vitamin C, is the safest choice for maintaining heart health. 2. Omega-3 plus Vitamin E Both omega-3 fatty acids and vitamin E are well known for their heart-boosting benefits. Omega-3s help lower triglycerides, reduce inflammation, and support healthy heart rhythms, while vitamin E is prized for its antioxidant properties, protecting cells from oxidative damage. On the surface, combining the two might seem like a perfect strategy for heart health. But in seniors, this combination can actually be risky, especially when taken as high-dose supplements. The main concern is that both omega-3s and vitamin E can thin the blood. High doses of omega-3s reduce platelet aggregation, slowing clotting, and vitamin E in doses above 400 IU daily can have similar anticoagulant effects. Taken together, they can significantly increase the risk of excessive bleeding, including internal hemorrhages or hemorrhagic stroke. This risk is further amplified in seniors who are already on medications like aspirin or warfarin. A 2005 meta-analysis in the Journal of the American Medical Association even suggested that high-dose vitamin E could slightly increase mortality, partly due to bleeding complications. In most cases, 
you don't actually need vitamin E supplementation. Most people get enough from a balanced diet, including nuts, seeds, and vegetable oils. If supplementation is necessary, it's best to choose natural vitamin E, known as D-alpha tocopherol, and don't take high doses like above 400 IU. For omega-3s, caution is also needed. Many fish oil supplements can go rancid, especially if stored improperly. Rancid oils not only lose their benefits, but can actually promote inflammation rather than fight it. Always ensure your omega-3 supplements are fresh, properly stored, and preferably third-party tested for purity. Before ever combining high-dose omega-3s and vitamin E, especially if you are on blood-thinning medication or have a heart condition, consult your doctor or pharmacist. 3. Vitamin A plus vitamin E. Another combination involving vitamin E, but this time it's vitamin A that could pose an even bigger problem, particularly if it's in retinol form, the active preformed version of vitamin A. While both vitamins are fat-soluble and recognized for their antioxidant benefits, taking them together as high-dose supplements can create serious risks for seniors, especially for the heart. The main concern is that both vitamins accumulate in the body. Unlike water-soluble vitamins that are easily excreted, fat-soluble vitamins like A and E are stored in the liver and fatty tissues. Over time, this can lead to toxicity, even if each supplement seems harmless on its own. High doses of retinol, in particular, have been associated with increased risk of heart-related issues, including elevated blood pressure, arterial stiffness, and disturbances in heart rhythm. When combined with high-dose vitamin E, the risk can be compounded. Vitamin E itself can thin the blood at high doses, and the added stress of excess vitamin A can increase oxidative stress in the arteries and heart tissues, paradoxically undoing the antioxidant benefits both vitamins are supposed to provide. A study published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition found that seniors taking high-dose vitamin A had a higher risk of cardiovascular events, especially when combined with other fat-soluble vitamins. In most cases, vitamin A supplementation is unnecessary for seniors, as a balanced diet usually provides sufficient amounts. If supplementation is needed, it's safer to opt for beta-carotene, a plant-based precursor to vitamin A which the body converts as needed and is much less likely to cause toxicity. For vitamin E, stick to the natural form like we mentioned before. 4. Magnesium plus high-dose potassium. For those taking electrolyte powders because that's often the only way to get a high dose of potassium through supplements, combining it with magnesium might seem safe, but it can actually be risky for the heart. Both magnesium and potassium are essential minerals that support heart rhythm, muscle function, and blood pressure regulation. But too much of either, especially potassium, can become dangerous. High-dose potassium supplements can easily lead to hyperkalemia, a condition where potassium levels in the blood rise to unsafe levels. This can trigger irregular heartbeats, muscle weakness, and in severe cases, cardiac arrest. Magnesium, while normally protective for the heart, can intensify potassium's effects on heart rhythm when both are taken in large amounts, increasing the risk of dangerous arrhythmias. The danger is particularly relevant for seniors because kidney function naturally declines with age, making it harder to safely excrete excess potassium. Most electrolyte powders contain 1,000 to 1,500 nanomers of potassium per serving, far above what the body can safely handle if combined with other supplements. A safer approach is to get potassium naturally from foods like bananas, avocados, leafy greens, and sweet potatoes, which the body absorbs and regulates safely. But the magnesium is very safe for most people, except you are on dialysis, you likely okay, but still take it up with your doctor. 5. Vitamin K plus Blood thinners, like warfarin. Vitamin K is an essential nutrient, known for its critical role in blood clotting and bone health, but when combined with blood thinning medications like warfarin, it can create serious heart-related risks. 
blood thinners are prescribed to reduce the risk of blood clots, stroke, and heart attack by slowing the clotting process. Vitamin K, on the other hand, works in the opposite direction. It promotes clotting. For seniors taking warfarin or similar anticoagulants, even small fluctuations in vitamin K intake can dramatically affect how well their medication works. Taking high-dose vitamin K supplements or even suddenly increasing vitamin K-rich foods can reduce the effectiveness of the blood thinner, leaving the heart and blood vessels vulnerable to dangerous clots or strokes. Conversely, inconsistent intake can cause unpredictable clotting, which may lead to bleeding complications. This is particularly important for older adults because their cardiovascular system is already more fragile, and the consequences of a clot or hemorrhage can be life-threatening. Studies have shown that seniors on warfarin need to maintain consistent vitamin K intake, not high doses, to keep their INR, a measure of blood clotting, within a safe range. A safer approach is to get vitamin K from a balanced diet, including leafy greens like spinach, kale, and broccoli, while avoiding high-dose supplements unless specifically directed by a healthcare provider. Before taking any vitamin K supplement or making major dietary changes, seniors on blood thinners must consult their doctor or pharmacist to ensure their medication remains effective and safe. 6. Calcium plus vitamin D If you want to know a heart attack waiting to happen, it's by taking high doses of vitamin D, like above 4,000 IU of D3, and combining it with high-dose calcium supplements, which are found in many over-the-counter formulas. Both calcium and vitamin D are essential for bone health, but when taken in excessive amounts, especially together, they can pose serious risks to the heart. High-dose calcium supplements can contribute to calcium buildup in the arteries, a process called arterial calcification. This hardens the arteries, making it harder for the heart to pump blood efficiently, which can increase blood pressure and the risk of heart attack or stroke. When you add high doses of vitamin D into the mix, it enhances calcium absorption, further increasing the risk of excessive calcium in the bloodstream and in the arterial walls. This combination is particularly risky for seniors, as age-related changes in the cardiovascular system make it easier for calcium to deposit in arteries. Research has shown that seniors taking high-dose calcium supplements, especially without balancing magnesium or vitamin K2, have a higher risk of cardiovascular events. Magnesium and vitamin K2 help direct calcium into the bones rather than the arteries, which is why supplements that ignore this balance can be dangerous. A safer approach is to obtain calcium from dietary sources like dairy, leafy greens, and fortified foods, and to ensure vitamin D intake stays within recommended levels, generally 600-2000 IU daily for most seniors, unless directed otherwise by a doctor. If supplementation is necessary, it should be done under medical supervision, ideally paired with magnesium and vitamin K2 to help keep calcium where it belongs, in the bones, not the arteries. Even though calcium and vitamin D are crucial for health, taking them in high doses without guidance can quietly increase the risk of heart attack or stroke, making this one of the most dangerous supplement combinations for seniors' heart health. And there you have it. Six supplement combinations that can quietly put a senior's heart at serious risk. From iron and vitamin C to calcium and high-dose vitamin D, each of these pairs may seem harmless or even healthy. But taken the wrong way, they can raise blood pressure, disrupt heart rhythms, or even trigger a stroke or heart attack. The key takeaway is this. Just because a supplement is natural or heart-healthy doesn't mean it's always safe, especially when combined with other vitamins, minerals, or medications. Seniors should always consult their health care provider before starting any new supplement, check dosages carefully, and focus on getting nutrients from real food whenever possible. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe so more people can learn how to protect their hearts.
And remember, staying informed is the first step to keeping your heart strong and healthy for years to come.